all right guys so the updates are rolling out as we speak and uh quickly shout out to pro digital but guys take a look at this banner here absolutely shocking you know first and foremost they're bringing back the uh triple sparking rates back 30 percent, which is great um as well as MUI goku is officially coming back alongside bardock a jiren of course super saiyan 4 dragon fist goku that just got a zenkai the super saiyan 4 is gogeta and the brand new 17 now I, I don't know why this 17 is here which is funny because he's not an lf unless i'm mistaken but he's like in the mix of all the lfs but uh, yeah, very, very solid banner right off the bat, I guess. I mean, I really want some extra copies of MUI Goku. And LF Bardock is actually the only LF I'm missing. So, yeah, I will be summoning for this, obviously. Now, we are going to get a lot, and I mean a lot more stuff. And I'll make extra coverage on my channel here on how to do everything, how to collect the medals. Just go into full, full details because there's going to be a lot of stuff, guys. This Legends Festival, and it could be quite confusing with a ton of shops, a ton of medals, and yeah. But guys, uh, check this out. This is the full artwork for Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Absolutely clean. I love it. And you know what? Surprisingly speaking, same thing for the uh, for 17. So um, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that 17. But hey, you know he should he shouldn't have been he shouldn't have been in this banner. I, I'm just saying that. But uh, uh, Festival Choice Battle is back. Obviously, you know uh, what that's all about. We can get a free a uh, few free sparkings here. Pretty notable. Uh, reviving Frieza and then. Um, after that's kind of a drop off after that but i mean I, I guess it's more for newer players but um yeah we have that and uh, the legends festival raid and now i do think we're gonna get multiple raids this is just gonna be the first one um and this is gonna be against omega shenron obviously and uh, just the artwork itself looks really really clean here i'm pretty sure we can collect at least a thousand three hundred crystals as well as 100 multi z power legends limited multi z power excuse me and by the way, we are going to get a brand new title screen, very very much kind of similar to like what happened with MUI Goku in the anniversary, right? We're going to get the same thing but with the Super Saiyan Force. Now, this artwork looks really, really clean. I absolutely love when they do these little small changes in the title screen. It just goes a long way. It really, really does. I absolutely love it. Now, I also cannot wait for the alternative outfits. I mean, I still cannot believe they're bringing that back. I mean, they're bringing it for the first time. It should have been done a long time ago, but uh, we'll see exactly what that's all about. Now, really quick, guys, we do have more stuff rolling through, as I said, so we're going to cover it here. We got a few equipment for Chalet as well as Zaha because they're going to come out playable today, and you can collect their Z power through missions, uh, through the Z plus or Z2 medals. But yeah, uh, new PvP messages as well. If we just take a look, uh, this Vegeta looks pretty cool. You know, obviously, we also have this, uh, this Shenron, I guess. I mean, he's extreme, right? Um, this another Shenron and this Goku here, which looks really cool. Also, we have this Majub one, which I actually like a lot. <laughs> I really do. Um, and it's a ton of stuff. This Piccolo one. I think this Piccolo one already exists. The Shenron one and as well as this other Majub one and a few others here, too. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. It really is like a few Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, as you guys can see here. Uh, really, really clean. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I absolutely love Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, as well as, you know, our boy, the MVP <laughs> 17, now, as you guys can see, his eyes turned from blue to red, that was the hint, uh, oh, they got the Zaha one, okay, the Zaha one's pretty cool, I like that one, I'm definitely gonna send that one out, it looks really cool, I like Zaha, we also got two brand new equipments, guys, um, obviously, we got this, uh, you know, Giblet equipment, I'm sure this is gonna be a unique equipment for Giblet, um, as well as the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta equipment, so, Pretty sure it's going to be for like GT Melee or something around those lines or GT Green. Uh, something to fit the new units. But um, but yeah, we're going to get also other stuff such as a whole bunch of events. Obviously, login bonus up to 400 crystals. Uh, the Legends Festival Raid we just covered. The Festival Chance Hopoi is going to come out as well. Uh, which, I'll, I'll like I said, I'll make a coverage exactly how all this works. So you guys are up to date 24-7. Um, if you guys log in every Tuesday, you guys will be getting one of these Tuesday medals, which then you can exchange for either one medal for 100 crystals, or you can switch one medal for, uh, or three medals for 100 Legends Limited Multi Z Power. Also, clear the stages each day to earn uh, festival face off medals. So, just stuff like that. The choice battle we covered. Uh, we can collect a few of these characters, which I told you is pretty cool. Uh, some outfits are going to be available and some accessories as well, which we have not seen yet. It has not been leaked and I'll show you guys as soon as the game updates. So a lot of stuff as well as, of course, uh, one of my favorite things, the alternative outfits. Now, this can be acquired by Z2 medals. Uh, Z2 medals are specifically just, you know, 
Um, basically, it's just the exact same metals we have one, uh, the, the rare metals we have right now. But if we just keep collecting it, it turns into Z2 metals. So I think they process that pretty badly. But hey, you know, I, I'm not going to complain. This is really cool. Um, I wonder if it's like time gated, whether or not uh, we can probably like, um, I don't know, like like today, this week, there's 10 characters available. Next week, there's going to be another 10 characters. So hopefully it's not time gated in any kind of way uh, because Soshi did say it was rare. Now, for those of you guys that did not know, we did get some extra leaks a few uh, week ago, right? Which is this time hourglass, uh, glass time official unit gauge, as well as this card. It's not fake, by the way, guys. I, I'm seeing some stuff that it's fake. It's literally in the database. It is not fake. It's still going to come out. And I'm very curious to see who is going to be um, equipped with these like leaks. I mean, honestly, like if it's not Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta, who is it, right? Who is it? It's really interesting uh, because we're only in the part one of the festival itself. Part two should be coming out very, very soon. Now, um, I am excited for GT, but not too excited to be honest with you guys. Um, GT still needs a lot of help, even with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Dragon Fist, and Zenkai left, right? We just got Super Saiyan 4 tags, um, as well as even 17, which actually looks pretty good, but. Um, we can see definitely a, a run with uh, Beast Gohan, Super Saiyan 4's uh, tags, and as well as Pan. That could definitely be a possibility. Saiyans is very broad, but maybe Super Vegito with uh, Super Saiyan 4's would actually be really good. And then you add Beast Gohan on the leader slot. That would actually be very, very scary right there. A lot of offensive power and tankiness as well. Um, by the way, that that um, that uh, Super Saiyan 4 tag, Goku and Vegeta gets an automatic 140% buff, very similar to Beast Gohan. So he's going to hit really, really hard, especially with the boost system. So yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for the character. Um, although they get a lot of hate, it's not the character itself. It's the structure of the banner. But now we can see the banner is pretty good in general. But, uh, you know, obviously more stuff coming in here. As you guys can see, this Legends Festival, um, you know, dual coins, or this is just a season one for PvP, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's going to be double rewards. Also, I think this is going to come back. I'm not sure if this is going to be a Zenkai. Yeah, or something like that. So basically, a new stage of this uh, Extreme Boo is going to come back. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, some other stuff here. This is in Spanish. Excuse me. Uh, if you guys can translate that, that would be great. But I'm just giving you guys the gist of it and trying to post as quickly as possible. But overall, guys, I am excited with the filler characters. I really thought the filler characters weren't going to be that good, like mainly GT-based. It is GT based. Obviously, we got Dragon Fist Goku, which just got a Zenka, which is nice, as well as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But then bringing back MUI Goku is a huge plus, as well as Bardock, because I'm actually missing Bardock, so that'd be pretty cool. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. I do want to push this video out to you guys as quick as possible. I will cover absolutely everything summon showcases, guides, how to's, absolutely everything, guys. So make sure you simply subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Turn on the notifications so you guys never miss a video because I keep you guys updated here literally daily. So tomorrow I'll probably post like four videos, honestly. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll definitely catch you once again for some summons in a few hours. Have a good one. Peace.